Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for January 10th. The lunar eclipse, the full moon. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you. What do we have? What do we have for the January 10th lunar eclipse? Keep in mind that this reading may play out at any time. What do we have? What do we have? King of Cups reversed. The King of Cups is in reverse is somebody that doesn't have good intentions. Okay. This is somebody that is non-communicative. Non I can't speak these days. This person can't. Uh, that's it. I can't speak these days. Right here. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Anyhow, this person um, is secretive, closed off, uh, may be unavailable, emotionally unavailable. The, he, this person may not be able to malice. Uh, malice? What the heck is going going on here? The stuff that is coming out of my mouth, it's uncontrollable. Really, this is an overpowering energy. There, there obviously could be some malice that is coming up from somebody that doesn't have good intentions. They're keeping it to themselves. They're hiding it very well. Doesn't matter what sign this is. This is anybody. Okay, this is somebody... I do believe it's a masculine. doesn't have to be. It could certainly be a feminine. This is somebody that is up to no good. Three of Wands. Get prepared. This is pre preparation. Now, the, somebody is putting on a show. You notice there's a show going on down there. Hmm. Somebody is really, really, really putting on a show. They are. They're not all that they are cracked up to be. Justice. Justice. The, look at this. We have somebody here. You know, the justice is about uh, karma. It's about integrity. Justice is a card of consequences. This is the laws of karma. Um, <laughs> there's no toleration for lies. Right? Somebody... Um, and this justice card is interesting. We have, we have somebody that is scheming. They're, they're scheming up a plan. It feels like they are trying to hurt another person. And maybe they have hurt another person. Okay. But karma never loses an address. Okay. Because this is, a, this is the ultimate card of karma. Somebody may be getting their justice for hurting, for being hurt by another person. Or, uh, wow. Wow. I'm, I am speechless. I am absolutely... I gotta just get some more cards here. Ooh. Get prepared for a show. Okay? Seriously. Get prepared for a show because somebody is gonna be putting one on. Okay? You might just want to take a seat for this. Alright? Somebody has gotten hurt. Somebody has gotten hurt. And karma is coming to balance out the scales. Justice is coming for the person that got hurt. So be prepared for a good show. Get your tickets. You don't even need tickets. You're going to see it anyway. And you notice these people are above. So somebody from above has probably been watching this show for a while. Right? Right? These people are above. Somebody from above could be Pluto, could be God, could be angels, could be 
um, Saturn, you know, somebody from above has been watching this show and they can see that there is somebody here that doesn't have good intentions and is being malicious. That's where malice came from, which is crazy, I know. This person has been keeping quiet. They've been very sneaky. They've been able to hide it very well, but you cannot hide it from the universe. Okay? So somebody from above has been watching this show, okay? And they are about to bring some justice to whoever it is that tricked another person. that deceived another person, that abused their power. There has definitely been an abuse of power here. There has. Justice is about to be served. Whoa. Two of Cups reversed. This is the end of a partnership. Now, when people see the Two of Cups, they automatically think it's their husband or their wife or their boyfriend or their girlfriend. The Two of Cups is a partnership. It's a relationship. This is all about relationships. And we have relationships with our children. We have relationships with our parents. We have relationships with our co-workers. We have relationships with our friends. We have relationships with our siblings. We have relationships with people that we interact with on a regular basis. There is a partnership that is splitting up. This is a breakup. This is a split. This is not compatible. There's arguments. There's probably going to be an argument. This is also abuse. So some, there's some, you know, it is, it's a form of emotional abuse. And this is emotional abuse as well. So interesting. There's been some sort of abuse here. Eight of Wands. Oh, boy. Eight of Wands. We know what that is. Fast forward movement. Things happen fast. Out of the blue. All of a sudden. It's like all of a sudden, huh, things start flying. Things start happening. You were waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen. Hoping and praying that something was going to happen. And well, here it is. Out of the blue. It just happens. I want you to see the card, but everything is so bright that it won't. The other one did before. I think it would just zoom in. I really want you to see the card. It's like something just starts happening. Okay? Something is going to happen just like that. You've been waiting for it to happen. You've probably been working hard, praying. When is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Here it is. You asked for it. This is what you wanted. Okay. That's what we got here. So something is going to happen out of the blue. You know, you don't think it's going to happen. You think that it's not going to happen, but it happens. It's going to happen. Four of Wands, it does have to do with commitment. It does have to do with um, hard work. Okay, somebody has been really working hard to get to the top. We have two people here that um, are working together, for sure. They're working together to build something, or they're working together to prove something. Hmm. This does have to do with a partnership that has to do with a commitment of some sort. Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is... Well, just these cards, they're so different. This is, this is, I know what the Five of Wands is, but I'm trying to go by what this card says. We have somebody here that is really trying to overpower. They are trying to scheme up a plan. They have been scheming up a plan to regain control, to win. They're, well, they're willing to do anything, even if it's against uh, the, the law. 
Oh my God. Somebody is willing to do anything even if it's against the law. Wow. Wow. Because of this, the five of wands is about competition. We have somebody here that is definitely trying to, you know, manipulate a situation and they're willing to do whatever it takes, even if it's against the law, to win something. But somebody from above is watching. They are. They are. Okay? Eight of Cups. This is saying, nope, goodbye. The Eight of Cups, this is, this is not going to happen. Somebody, it, this Eight of Cups, this is walking away. This is emotionally disappointing. This is saying, nope, nope. Now, now you think about this. This is like the the person in Snow White, right? The the witch in Snow White. You could just say that was an apple that is trying to get somebody to uh, go down the wrong path. It looks to me as though we do have somebody that is going to say no. I don't want to engage with your foolishness. I don't. I don't want to uh, be a part of this. I feel like we do have somebody here that is going to say no. I don't want to be a part of this. So they're leaving behind a union or they're leaving behind a relationship. Somebody is saying no to a situation where that is obviously not healthy. Okay, definitely. Where somebody somebody may have emotionally blackmailed another person to engage in their scheme. It doesn't have they may have blackmailed them in any way that they could because I see illegal dealings here. Somebody is not happy that a a legal um ruling didn't go in their favor so now they are trying to manipulate and they are willing to break the law to get their way so i feel like and if it's not a legal ruling it has to do with um a relationship you know somebody's relationship they didn't get what they wanted so there there there's malice here there is absolutely some malice here that's why the word came out and it came out here before this even came out and this is absolutely malice Okay, it really, really, really is. So somebody's malicious ways are being seen from above. And you don't have to believe me, but I suggest you do. Anyhow, um, things are about to change. Okay, things are definitely going to change. Somebody is, is may change their mind. There could be a change of heart here. Somebody, it, it's probably what it is too. I think that something, somebody tries to... Uh, get somebody to engage in their schemes and their tricks and somebody uh, this person over here decides that they don't want to be a part of it i don't want to be a part of this you know i'm trying to build up my stability i'm trying to build up my myself i'm so they may decide that i don't want to be a part of your schemes i don't want to be a part of your tricks somebody may be even scheming to really i mean really really hurt another person i mean to the highest degree if you know what i'm saying so anyway, this right here, the Eight of Wands, this is forward movement. All of a sudden, something happens. This could be communication coming in. Somebody may receive word that something um, crazy has happened. This is unbelievable. This is definitely unbelievable. It does have to do with a relationship. Um, <laughs> Somebody is walking away from a union. Seriously, eight of cups next to the two of cups reversed. A commitment. It's like I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to work with you anymore. Knight of Swords. This is sudden. This is a sudden change. Where's this person's head? This person's head is not even here. Oh my God! Take a look at that. Whew, we have somebody here that hasn't isn't using their head. Oh boy! Son of a bitch. They're moving too fast. They're, they're, they, they're, or their head is too big. You know what I mean? They really have a swollen head. Something to do with their head. They're, they're getting too far ahead. They're too far ahead of themselves. You know, and it, this is the Knight of Swords is somebody who may bite off more than they can chew and they may get themselves in trouble. This is somebody who is not very sensible. You know, they just do it without thinking. And he may, he may, this is, what is it? I don't know what the saying is, um, cut off his head to spite, in spite of himself, because you notice the sword and, and, you know, somebody may end up getting themselves in trouble for acting, uh, without thinking. Okay. So just saying, um, 
wow wow um now this is a this is very rapid rapid movement rapid change this is a shock okay and we do have some uh, some sort of shock that is going about to happen okay um somebody is really getting ahead of themselves and they're probably going to get in trouble okay they are really not using their head very well and their head may be so big. They may have a really big head. And, and you know what that is. That's a really big ego. And their ego is getting in the way of making sensible decisions. We have somebody here that is trying to overpower another person. They're trying to win at all costs. They do not care who they hurt. And they're going to end up hurting themselves. That is what we got here. Somebody is going to get themselves hurt. They really, really, really are. And it's all in the name of competition. It's all in the name of winning. Because this is competition and winning. This person is definitely going overboard. Um, it feels like on this side we have a person that has no fear. It's like they don't care who they hurt. They really don't care who they hurt. And there's a higher power that is watching. And they are going to stop this person right in their tracks. And that's what I see. You're not going to make it. Whoever this person is that is trying to, you know, really hurt. I mean, you know, I hate to say this, but I mean, this doesn't look good. They're really trying to, uh, keep somebody down they're really trying to uh, make sure that somebody doesn't succeed they're just really really a malicious person we have a malicious person here that is about to get the karma that they deserve for hurting another person they're not going what their plan is not going to succeed okay it's not going to succeed because it feels like whoever they try to engage to help them that person may speak up they may tell Okay, they may tell. All of a sudden, they speak up and they, they tell what happens, whatever. This person is definitely walking away from this malicious individual. Um, karma may be pushing somebody in a new direction. This is definitely karma. Um, it's like there definitely is a higher power that is watching, that is watching this big show. They're watching this competition and they're seeing who is being unjust. They're seeing who is telling the truth. They're seeing who is honest and they're seeing who is not and the person that is not is probably going to it feels like there could be an accident or you know they're gonna they're gonna get themselves caught they are definitely gonna get themselves caught um <clears throat> knave of swords so this is uh being observed this is somebody who is watching <laughs> you know he talked about that there is somebody that is watching somebody that is observing they're watching everything go on this is an investigator or um somebody that is very observant this person hasn't been speaking up they haven't spoken up yet the sword is down they're keeping what they know to themselves. Hmm. King of Pentacles reverse. Now this could have to do with a child because this is a child. The King of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is very greedy, very selfish, very focused on materialistic items, very um, lazy. Uh, doesn't act with integrity, doesn't accept responsibility for their actions, is somebody that doesn't uh, work hard enough or focuses way too much on work, doesn't invest in a relationship, doesn't put a relationship first or, or love first, puts money first. This person puts money first or may in involve themselves in illegal ventures to get money. Um, this person has no stability, has no security, and if they do, it's superficial, okay? Um, this person, the, 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 
the knight or the page of swords is somebody that is very well this one in particular is isn't speaking up this person has some sort of information that they have not given away yet this person is mentally sharp this could be an enemy as well an enemy that is disguised because you know it's the page of swords this could be the enemy that is disguised as a friend or a family member Oh, we have the moon. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about the the full moon. So, all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. Somebody hasn't seen every you haven't seen it yet. You have not seen it yet. You're about to see it though. This full moon is about to reveal something that is going to really be a shock because the knight of swords is a shock. Somebody is about to get the shock that they uh, have been waiting for or they haven't been waiting for okay somebody has been watching this whole show and they're about to get an awakening of some sort things are going to happen soon very you've been waiting for it you've been hoping and praying you've been manifesting i'm telling you what <laughs> you're about to get what you see what you have been been uh waiting for you i'm telling you what you're about to see it what you it's like you know when you're doing a seance and you're sitting around you're waiting for uh shit to happen okay here it comes so uh queen of pentacles reversed we definitely have a couple that is falling apart they're not stable they're not solid they're not secure they don't have any kind of uh firm foundation because they both waste they both they're both wasteful they're both stubborn they're both uh greedy they're both selfish they're both jealous they i'm telling you what we do have a couple here that is very unstable and and they're about to experience um something that they have never ever ever seen before in their lives these people are very greedy very greedy and they probably have had money at one point in their life or they had a lot of assets if this is a couple and that's not what and i know that a lot of people don't want to hear this but that is not what you were brought to this earth for okay you were not brought to this earth to have that mansion you were not brought to this earth to have everything you were not brought to this earth to have the finest you were not you were not. You were brought to this earth to live, you know, basically in a natural setting. The you were you were God or a higher power has provided you with everything that you need, but people have gotten greedy and they have let society get in the way of what really matters. And now what really matters is things and looks and that big, beautiful house and those big, beautiful cars and those beautiful clothes and the beautiful hair and the beautiful face. Okay. It's the, it's, it, that's not what you were brought to this earth for. Okay. So it's all been a show. Okay, that's all for show. All of it is for show. So we have a couple of greedy, really greedy, selfish individuals who have been letting their ego get in the way of what really matters. Okay, and they've overstepped. They've really overstepped and they are about to get a major awakening and whatever is going to happen is going to happen to these people who um, need to wake up and they need to see what matters most because I'd like to know where the love is in these cards. I mean, we got quite a few cards here and I haven't seen any love yet. We have these people that have forgotten about what is real. What? Well, the only thing that is, the only thing that is real is, is love. You can't take none of that shit with you when you die. Nothing goes with you. And there's a lack of love here. There really is. Somebody has forgotten what life is all about. It's the majority, right? It's the majority of the world.
the hangman reversed. Refusing to let go. Obsessed with control. Not learning a lesson. Somebody has been hiding something because of their egotism. Missing real opportunities. Fighting constantly. Instead of being nice, instead of being kind, instead of being giving. Somebody's egotism. Is about to get them it is it's about to get them I don't know if we're dealing with the Pisces I'm sorry but we have Pisces here we have Pisces here we have Pisces Cancer Scorpio here um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit as well. But like I said, we take on these energies. We all have Pisces in our chart. We all have Cancer in our chart. We all have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in our chart. We have every single sign in our chart. All is not as it seems. Something has been hidden. Seriously, I see somebody has been hiding something. They have some sort of ill intentions because they lost because they were rejected and now they're scheming up a plan to hurt another person probably they've already hurt this person and they just want to keep going well this 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 has there's a higher power that has been watching this whole thing and they're not happy they're not happy with what they see this is not what you came to earth for that big house in that beautiful car. Let me take it away. And see who you are. Good luck.